Okay, so today we are talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. We have two goals. One, I can identify and write equations of parallel lines. Two, I can identify and write equations of perpendicular lines. All right, so we have a warm-up right here that we have done something close to like this before. Uh, imagine the points negative 2 and 5, and sorry, negative 2, 5, and 6, 1 with a line passing through them. Write an equation of the line in point-slope form. So we'll start with writing it in point-slope form. So remember, to write in point-slope form, you need a point. Okay, so we can pick either one of these. I'm going to pick this one. And say, okay, I got you negative 2, 5. That's my point. And then I also need the slope. So did I give you the slope? No. So we have to find the slope. M equals, remember, it's rise over run. So change in Y's over change in X's. So I'm going to call this x1, y1, this one x2, y2. So I'm going to get the change in my y's. I'm going to do y2 minus y1. It's 1 minus 5 over x2, which is 6, minus. And then x1, which is a negative 2. So instead of doing a double negative, I'm going to change it to plus. That's negative 4 over 8. And that fraction is simplifiable. Okay, So I need to simplify it. It's a negative number because a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And then 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 8 twice. So the slope is negative 1 half. So now I also have my slope. I right, remember point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So now I can write my equation. I'm going to do y minus y1, which is 5, equals m, which is negative 1 half parentheses, x minus x1, which is a negative 2, so I'm going to change this to plus 2. And there's my equation. All right, B says write the equation line in slope-intercept form. Remember, slow intercept form, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So all you have to do is solve that equation that's boxed for y. So I have y minus 5 equals, I have to distribute the negative 1 half. So if I distribute the negative 1 half to this and this, Negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x. Negative 1 half times 2. Now you can use a calculator, but let's think about this before we do that. I'm doing a negative times a positive. Is the answer a negative or a positive? Negative. Okay, so I know it's minus. And then when I do half times 2, all that I'm doing is taking half of 2. So what's half of 2? 1. And then finally to get y by itself, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So this is y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. Notice that the slope did not change. Okay. All right, next it says graph the line y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 3 in Desmos. Try to make another line which is parallel to it. Try to make a line perpendicular to it. So let's start with just parallel. Okay. So we're going to go to Desmos. Uh, my Desmos is missing. Not a big deal because I can go right here and grab it. You're going to open up your Desmos. And then you are going to, in uh, equation one, if you have something else in there, all you have to do is hit the X and it'll clear it out. I'm going to type that equation, which was Y equals. And then negative 2 fifths. So I'm going to do 2 divided by 5. 2 fifths. And then you have to tap right next to that. Otherwise, if I type X right now, watch what happens goes in the denominator. We don't want that, right? So you need to tie up right next to it, hit X, and then plus 3. Plus 3. And there's the line. Okay, so your goal is to hit Y2 right here, the second um, equation spot, and you want to come up with something that's parallel. So go ahead, pause the video, try that yourself. All right, so I'm going to do Y equals, I already know what a parallel line will look like. I'll give you a clue, negative 2 divided by 5, hit x, and then plus 9. That's parallel. Or I could have done minus 2. That's parallel. Or I could have done nothing at all, just plus 0 or plus 1. Oops, I accidentally hit my, got rid of my x there. x and then plus 1. All right? These are all parallel. Okay, so what do we notice about our lines? Our lines have the same slope. 
Okay, so let's go back to notability and say when two lines are parallel, what is noticeable about the equations? Their slopes are the same. Their slopes are the same. All right, go back to Desmos, erase your second line, and we are going to try to come up with a line perpendicular. So Desmos, and delete that one. I want a perpendicular line. So I'm still going to do y equals. Go ahead and mess around with that. Oops, what happened there? There we go. Still going to do y equals. Go ahead and mess around with your slopes and your y-intercepts and see what you can do here. See if you come up with it. All right, what you should have noticed is if you do 5 halves x and then whatever y-intercept you want. Like right now it's at 0. I can do negative 5. I can do plus 2, minus 6, minus 37.8. It doesn't matter. So if you look here, the y-intercepts don't matter. But what about the slopes? How did the slope change? If you look at the first one, it's negative. The second one's positive. Those are called opposites. Also, you should notice that the numerator and the denominator switch spots. So it's 2 fifths to 5 halves. That's called the reciprocal. Okay. So two lines are perpendicular. They form a right angle as they meet. We already know that. Now, when graphing, the direction that a line travels depends on its slope. It turns out that the pair of lines with, will be perpendicular if their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay. So what do these two words mean? What does opposite mean? It means one is positive and one is negative. Okay, that's what opposite means. doesn't matter which one. So if I give you a negative number, the opposite's positive. If you, I give you a positive number, the opposite one's negative. Reciprocal means you're going to flip the numerator and the denominator. They're going to change spots. So what I like to do is I like to give examples of a few um, reciprocals before we, opposite reciprocals before we start. Um, okay, so we start with some nice easy ones here. We'll do negative two-fifths, okay? So what's the opposite reciprocal? So I'm going to say and because it's going to be the, I'm going to do opposite reciprocals here. So opposite would make this positive. And then if I flip it, it's five over two, right? That's the one we just did. Okay, what about one half? What's the opposite reciprocal of one half? One half's positive, so my answer is gonna be negative, and then I need to flip one over two. So that becomes two over one. And I'm not gonna write two over one because I know what two divided by one is, it's two. Okay, let's try another one. What about negative one? And? Okay, so I know the answer's positive because negative one's negative. And then I need to flip this fraction. So I say, wait a minute, it's not written as a fraction. So what I want to do is I want to write it as a fraction, then flip it. So 1 over 1 flipped is just 1. So the reciprocal of negative 1 is positive 1. Let's try another one. So let's do 5. Let's do negative 5. Let's just do 5. And... So the opposite's negative, and then reciprocal. Remember, 5 is 5 over 1, so this is going to be 1 over 5. All right, let's do a tough one. 0. And. Okay, so what's the opposite of 0? Is 0 positive or negative? It's neither of those things, right? So 0 doesn't have an opposite. What about reciprocal? Does 0 have a reciprocal? Zero does have a reciprocal, okay? Because if I make this a fraction and put over one, it becomes one over zero. Can I divide by zero? No. So this is what is undefined, okay? All right, find the opposite reciprocals of each number. Go ahead and pause the video and try each one of those. See how, if you got the gist of it. All right, this one should be negative, and then flip it, 4 thirds. This one should be positive, and then flip it, 7 halves. This one should be negative, and then flip it. This was 5 over 1, so this is one, negative 1 fifth. 
This is positive, and then this I can put over one and flip it. Still one over one, so one. Zero, undefined. Okay. All right, next, determine whether each pair of lines should be parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So remember, we're looking at their slopes. If they have the same slope, let's see if I can get my highlighter out here. If they have the same slope, uh, their slopes are the same, then they are parallel. If they are slopes are opposite reciprocals, then they are perpendicular. Okay, so let's look at slopes here. My slope here is four, my slope here is three. Are they the same? No. Are they opposite reciprocals? No. So these are neither. All right, let's try B and then you're gonna pause the video and try the rest on your own. Your slope here is two thirds, your slope here is two thirds. Are they the same? Yes. So these are parallel. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try all the way up till H on your own. All right, let's see how you did. Slope here is one half, slope here is negative two. Are they the same? No. Are they opposite reciprocals? Let's check. They're opposites, one's positive, one's negative. Are they reciprocals? One over two and two over one. So yes, these are perpendicular. Now you can write the word perpendicular or you can use the shortcut for the word perpendicular, which is an upside down capital T. Because if you look, this looks like a right angle right here. All right, next one, slopes, one half, and negative one half. Are they the same? No, so they're not parallel. Are they opposite reciprocals? Let's check. They're opposites, one's positive, one's negative. Are they reciprocals? One over two and two over one are reciprocals. So these are neither. All right, let's go to the next one. My slope here, my slope here. So if you look, this is one, this is negative one. Negative one and one are opposite reciprocals. So these are perpendicular. I have that memorized. One and negative one are opposite reciprocals. All right, next one. Y equals two and Y equals five. If you look here, there's zero slope on Y equals two and there's zero slope on Y equals five. That's one way of thinking of it. Another way of thinking of it is Y equals a number. I use hoy for help. That's a horizontal line. So y equals two looks like this, y equals five looks like this. You can see that those are parallel. All right, next one. Slope here is three, slope here is negative three. Are they the same? No, so not parallel. Are they opposite reciprocals? They're opposites, one's positive and one's negative. Are they reciprocals? What's the reciprocal of three? One over three, so no, neither. All right, last one, x equals three, y equals two. Vux and hoy. Vertical line, x equals three. Horizontal line, y equals two. They are perpendicular. Okay, so the last everything from now on here is write an equation of a line which is parallel to that line and passes through that point. We are going to use point slope form for everything, okay? So we're gonna use point slope form, why? Because it's the easiest. So we're gonna use the form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's the form that we're gonna use. Why? Because I gave you a point, x1, y1, and then did I give you the slope? That's the, always gonna be the question, okay? All right. So I want a line that's parallel to the line that I gave you. So do I know the slope of this line? It's three, right? So what's the slope of the parallel line gonna be? The slope of the parallel line is going to be three. So now you have the point and you have the slope, so you can write your equation. Y minus Y1, which is three, equals M, which is three, times X minus X1, which is a negative two, so I'll change it to plus two. And there's my equation. It's super easy if you are able to know your formula and then know how to find the opposite reciprocal or same number. All right, write an equation line which is parallel, once again, to this line. The slope is negative 5 halves and passes through this point. So I have my slope. That's m. m is negative 5 over 2. And then I have my point x1, y1. 
So I'm going to do y minus y1, which is 1, equals m, negative 5 halves, parentheses x minus x1, which is 6. That's it. All right, next one. Write an equation of a line that's parallel to this line. Now this time I say, ooh, it's y equals 3. What's so special about y equals 3? That is a non-sloped line. So I need to know, is it vertical or horizontal? Hoy. It's horizontal. So I have a horizontal line going through y equals 3. And I want it to pass through the point 4, 7. Okay, so it's going to have the same slope. So this is also going to be y equals. If it was perpendicular, I'd want to make it x equals. So this is going to be y equals. And then it has to go through this y value right here. So y equals 7. Write an equation of a line which is parallel once again. Okay, so I want it going in the same direction as this vertical line because it's x equals negative 5. So if I want a parallel, I want it also to be x equals. And then it has to go through the x value of 2. All right, next, write an equation of a line which is parallel to this line. It passes through this point. So here's my slope, here's my point. Since it's parallel, I'm using the exact same slope. So y minus y1, which is 3, equals m, which is 2, times x minus x1, which is 5. And that's it. All right, next one. Write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to. So what I like to do when it's perpendicular to, I like to say, remember, it's perpendicular slope. Right? It's not the same slope, so it's opposite reciprocal. So if the slope here is 3 fourths, I need the opposite reciprocal of 3 fourths. So 3 fourths is positive, so my answer is going to be negative. And the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. And then there's, oops, and then there's my point. So I'm going to do y minus y1, which is a negative 1, so I'm going to turn that to plus 1, equals m, which is negative 4 thirds parentheses x minus x1, which is 6. Okay. Next one, write an equation of a line which is perpendicular to this line that passes through the point, negative 3, 2. So I need the slope. The slope right here is m. Remember, this is just point slope form, y minus y1 equals m, parentheses, x minus x1. So what I need perpendicular, so I'm going to do perpendicular. I'm here right here. Okay, and then I say, okay, what is the m value? This is the m value right here. m is negative 1, right? I need perpendicular to that, so I need the opposite reciprocal. So what's the opposite negative 1? Positive. And then the reciprocal, 1. So remember, opposite reciprocals, negative 1 and positive 1. Positive 1 and negative 1. Okay, so now I want to write my equation of my line. y minus y1, which is 2, equals m, which is 1 times x minus x1, which is a negative 3. So I'm going to double, make it a plus since it's double negative. All right, next one. Write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to, ooh, and then y equals 6, right? So this is one of my special lines, and I say, okay, y equals, is that a vertical line or a horizontal? Boy, horizontal line, y equals 6, and passes through this point. So I say, okay, I want it perpendicular. What's perpendicular to a horizontal line? A vertical line. Vertical lines are x equals. Okay? So if it's x equals, it has to go through the x value, which is 5. All right, I have a line. Another way of thinking about this is I have a line that's x equals negative 2 for number 11. If you use your arm to show what x equals negative 2 looks like, you should be having a vertical line. I want something perpendicular to that. That's a horizontal line. So I can say, okay, I need something that's horizontal. Horizontal line is y equals, and then it has to go through the y value, 7. That's it. All right, those are notes for today. Go ahead and rewrite yourself on your two goals. I can identify and write equations of parallel lines, and I can identify and write equations of perpendicular lines.